All police patrols. Urgently intercept a large flying car. I give up. There is going to be a great sunny day today. You can have a wonderful time out of the city. <gasps> wow. Hello, my friends. I'm going to visit Emmy now to surprise her with my new invention. This is my new little robot friend, Flippy. We are going to the exhibition of robotics. Did you see the tickets for the exhibition, Flippy? Ah, oh, sure, I left them in the car. I think that you're my best invention, Flippy. I can't wait to introduce you to Emmy. She'll be surprised how many things you can do. Is this for Emmy? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll buy a new bouquet of flowers on the way there. Okay, Flippy, jump into the trunk. Let's make a surprise for Emmy. In two hours, a compact thermonuclear generator will be brought to the municipal power station. There is no machine like that in the world yet. It will be able to provide our city with electricity for many years. A special gas, hydrogen, serves as a fuel for the generator. It can grow into another gas, helium. The same process takes place on the sun. Just imagine, we will have our own tiny sun. Our basic task is to provide safety of the delivery of this generator. Yep. yep. <gasps> and what is that? Something prompts me, and that's not good. Major Harry, we could not go out of the building. This power field does not let us out. All police patrols urgently intercept a large flying car. Be careful, the criminals are very dangerous. It seems that we need to postpone our visit to Emmy. <gasps> Great, I didn't even have to look for you. This road leads to the prison. They decided to arrange an escape. The 
City Prison, a headquarters for especially dangerous criminals. <gasps> Effectively, but it's time to stop this disgrace. Annie would love it, but now you need to work a little. You need to take off and catch up with that flying machine, then land on its case, connect to the electrical wiring, and make a short circuit. Can you cope with it? Did it! Well done, Flippy! The flying machine is destroyed, but the criminals are trying to hide in a black car. I'm chasing them and waiting for reinforcements. What a day! Thank you for your help, Handy Andy. Without your and Flippy's help, we wouldn't be able to catch the most dangerous criminals in our city so fast. The main thing is that we don't have new criminals. <gasps> <gasps> if 
This is something new. Hmm. It looks like it's a clone of the doctor. So this is why he needed the scientists he recently kidnapped. They helped him to build a cloning machine. But we'll never know how many copies he made of himself. The only ones we captured were the evil clones of this scoundrel. Major Harry, a thermonuclear generator was stolen. Now everything is clear. The doctor tricked us. This whole situation was an escape with drones and a clone. It was a deceptive maneuver. Finally, my plan worked, and even Handy Andy could not stop me. Oh, ho, ho. they have no idea what awaits them. <laughs> Well, Irma, let's run. Mm -hmm. Yes, I finally got it. The thermonuclear generator we recently acquired was the last missing element in my ingenious machine. With it, we can get into parallel worlds and perhaps even travel through time. And how does this machine work? In 1957, the American physicist Hugh Everett created the quantum theory of parallel worlds. He believed that the same objects can be found in parallel worlds, but in different states. I learned to concentrate and refract the rays of light so that the interior holes were obtained. And having understood this theory, I found this alternative universe. But first, you have to experience it because it can be very dangerous. And do you know, Irma, who will try it first? No. Our most important enemy, Handy Andy, who always bothers us in our affairs. I strongly doubt that he will agree to this. <laughs> he will not agree, and your next task will be to lure him here. But how? You will go to the center of the city and make a big stir in your race car. Your task is to attract the attention of the police as much as possible. Hmm. But they can hardly catch up to you, and they will have to ask for help from Handy Andy. That's when you lure him here. Well, am I supposed to go to this portal to lure him there? No. When you come here, you will hide in this room, and Handy Andy will see this. <laughs> this is your hologram, which I will send to the portal, and it will lure Handy Andy. How do we know if Handy Andy will survive after the transition or not? Ha! I sent to the other side a small drone with a camera that will transmit information to this world. And I configured the device so that the signal will pass, but the portal itself will be closed. If Handy Andy survives, then he will not have any chance of returning. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I'm ready. Or you can just go to the picnic and relax. Mm. 
Hmm. Andy, Andy, I'm sorry to bother you, but we can't do it without you. We've been trying to catch Irma for an hour, but her car is very powerful hmm. and fast. She has already arranged such a route. Well, everything is as usual. Don't worry, Major. We're already going. Hmm. she have this catch-up game tomorrow? Oh. <laughs> yes, you need to exchange phone numbers and discuss the crime schedule in advance. Be careful. Irma shoots homing missiles and can destroy anything. She has just shot at the helicopter and it fell. Well, that was above the water, so the landing was soft. It's clear that she just has nothing to do. It would be better to go on a picnic or go to the zoo. Now we will catch her and you can do remedial work with Irma. She is, look! Ooh. Come on, we've almost caught up with her! Wait, I don't like something here. There shouldn't be such a forest in this area. Have you ever been here before? Let's just look in there. If she ran away, then come back. Okay, fine.
The story will be continued in the next previous episode. Yes, I finally got it. Breaking news, while trying to detain the dangerous criminal Irma, Handy Andy and Emmy have disappeared. Anyone who has seen them or knows the details of their disappearance, please come to the police station immediately. <laughs> well, we finally got rid of this little genius Handy Andy and his annoying girlfriend. How does the world where we sent them differ from ours? Everything that exists in our world is in that only with exactly the opposite. Hmm. Properly, and judging by the information that he gives, Handy Andy survived and feels quite well. But let's see what he will do next. I can't understand what, but something is wrong here. And now, strike! Major Harry just knocked out the garbage cans? Andy Andy, I think this is not our city! And not at all our reality! Quite possibly we passed through the portal between the worlds! <laughs> that just could have not happened in a couple of hours! I can't imagine! Maybe the bandits escaped from prison and made all this mess. Although this does not explain the behavior of Major Harry. Andy, Andy, Emmy, hello. Why don't you come in? Mm hmm? Officer, is everything okay? The city looks like the capital of the garbage state, and Major Harry... Ha! Major Harry went on an important mission. Smash trash cans? No, buy cakes and sweets. We will need to eat after a water battle. <laughs> Did you see that too? Yes! Andy, Andy, 
I think this is definitely not our reality. The water battle will begin in five minutes in the main square. Right after it, we will go to trample flower beds in the park. Looks like you're right. Hmm. In this world, Major Harry and the officer are bad. So Doctor and Irma are good. Everyone to the water battle! Yahoo! But where do we find them? I think I know who to ask. Run! The city prison. The part for the most dangerous criminals. We must do it while the water battle is going on. Or even find ourselves here. Yeah, don't say it. Don't do it, Andy Andy. Don't hurt us. Apparently, I'm bad in this world. I'm not going to harm you. We came here from another world and want to go home. We are on the side of good and will not be able to live in a reality where policemen behave like bandits. Looks like they're telling the truth. Our Emmy would have launched something heavy at me a long time ago. Dr. Evil is in our world. Then here he will be Dr. Good. I can't find him in prison. Do you happen to know where he is? Only he can help us. The police chief has long been trying to catch him, but all is unsuccessful. I don't know where he lives, but most often he could be found near the mine of energy crystals outside the city. Energy crystals? What kind of crystals are these? You don't know? This is the main source of energy in our world, besides the sun. These crystals can accumulate an unlimited amount of solar energy and then give it away for many years. We use them as an energy source in our cars and in various devices. How do we find this mine? Drive south along the Central Avenue, turn left at the exit of the city, and drive there for another three kilometers to the mine. If you're lucky, you'll find the doctor there. Thank you. We'll do it. Let us let you out? Thank you, but not worth it. All the same, we will soon be caught again. And what can we do in this terrible city? We can calmly knit here. <laughs> and read in silence. Up to you. Thanks again. I had no idea that there could be a good handy Andy. I would never have gotten into such a car, but... We need to find the doctor fast. What a nightmare. There are no seat belts here. Everything here. You will see the rest.